Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecopman12.blogspot.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of the My Magazines page on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now this is, My Magazines is basically a cheap knockoff of HTC's Blink feed, but to tell you the truth, this one just seems like bloatware that, well, even more bloatware that you just don't want. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. Now, as you can see, it's very annoying. Look, you can very, very fast scroll to these pages quickly, but this one always has the exact same speed. If I swipe fast, as you can see right there, it shows up very slowly. If I'm going to, like, say, swipe between all my screens, again, that just comes super slowly. It's very, very irritating. And apart from that, it's also irritating just for the re main reason you don't want it. And with the previous Samsung phones, if you wanted to go from one screen all the way to the other, you just have to swipe and then back, then it'll, you know, take you to that uh, last screen. So I'm going to tell you how to do this now. This is very, very simple. All you have to do is tap and hold on the multitasking button you got right here. Then your screen will come out, or what you can just do is just pinch out. And then what you're going to do is press the home screen settings right over here. And you can see my magazine is right over there. Just untick it and go back to the home screen. And now, I'm at, now my magazine is gone. And you can just go back to scrolling around through all of your pages. So there you go. That's how to get rid of it. And I was so pleased once I did. And yeah, if you want to enable it again in the future, you can just again either pinch your fingers or press and hold on the multitasking button. Press that home screen settings right there. And then you can tick it again. Go back to the home screen. And there it is. Super easy, absolutely easy. That's uh, one of the easiest sort of fixes you could do. And also, what you've also got here is transition effect. So you can very quickly just change the tr effect of the transitions from a card sort of effect, or you could change it back to the classic one that you got on the Galaxy S3 and onwards, or 3D rotation and stuff, as you can see. So that's the one. So that's it, guys. That was uh, my very quick how to guide on how to get rid of the My Magazines page on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Thanks very much for watching, stay tuned for my future coverage videos and of course a full review of the Galaxy S5 and I will see all of you next time. Take care.